Hey guys, Glorin King here, back for another vlog. Uh, this time we're going to talk about cyanuric acid or stabilizer and why it's uh, really important to keep it in range, um, what it does in your pool water, what are the ranges of course, uh, and some troubles you can find from not keeping it in check. So, what is stabilizer? What I explain to my clients, stabilizer is basically sunblock for the chlorine. So, if the for instance, an example here, if you don't have a stabilizer high enough, if you put chlorine in the water, uh, liquid chlorine, usually it'll burn off approximately an hour or two after you add it if there's zero stabilizer. So that's why it's really important to keep it up in range because it protects the chlorine. So to get back what I say to my clients is I say it's sunblock for chlorine, it protects it. But if it, on the other hand, if it gets too high, it actually turns into liquid handcuffs and doesn't allow the chlorine to work properly. So then you need more of the sanitizer uh, for it to uh, still keep your pool clean and we'll, or clear anyways. We'll uh, get back to that later. So according to the NSPF, the recommended range is 30 to 50 parts per million. Uh, for commercial pools, it's really important to adhere to that. However, with residential, there's not any any uh, third party fault checking up on your work so oftentimes um, the residential pools will be kept higher you know I've seen it all the way up to 400 after the dilution test uh, which is obviously bad but nonetheless you know, if you have a chlorine generator uh, salt cell uh, generally you want to keep the the cyanuric acid between 50 to 70 parts per million because that way the salt cell doesn't have to be on all the time you know because as we know one of the byproducts of a uh, salt system is a little higher pH and uh, if you have that stabilizer up enough you don't have to keep the cells running so long and then that keeps that pH in check so that's a little tip for you guys on how to maintain salt pools uh, but at any rate so what can what are some chemicals that have the stabilizer built in and what are some that don't well you're looking uh, the unstabilized chlorine which doesn't have the stabilizer and you have stabilized chlorine which is what includes the stabilizer because that's what stabilizes the chlorine so a couple of chemicals that don't have the stabilizer at least as far as chlorine goes is liquid chlorine chlorine gas cow hypo things of that nature uh, stabilized chlorine or stuff that has that cyanuric acid or stabilizer is uh, trichlor dichlor and the most popular form of chlorine is probably the three inch tablets um, so if you're, if you have a high stabilizer reading, the, one of the last things you want to do is add a tablet to the pool or a trichlor or dichlor because you're just going to be compounding your problem. So as a service tech, one of the first things you should do when you get a new pool is do a full test on the pool and figure out really quickly if you need to increase the stabilizer, stop using things like tablets and uh, trichlor or dichlor or whatnot. So that way you're not you're solving the client's problem instead of making things worse. So, so what are some problems you can have if the stabilizer is too low? Well, uh, like I mentioned earlier, alluded to earlier, is that you can um, have a lot of burn off because it's not protecting the chlorine. So you could uh, add chlorine in the pool and within a couple hours you don't have any sanitizer left because it's all burnt off by the sun. So really important to make sure that uh, you know you have that stabilizer in, in the water now if it's too high um, you know like I mentioned it could be liquid handcuffs and not allow the chlorine to work properly so one misunderstood thing about stabilizer is that there's a specific relationship between the chlorine or the free chlorine you need 7.5 percent of chlorine <clears throat> in relation to the stabilizer reading in order to keep the pool healthy so in other words I always like to use round numbers so if you have a stabilizer reading of 100 for instance you need to keep your chlorine between you know at, at a minimum 7.5 parts per million in order to keep the um, the pool clear so that's where if you keep the stabilizer in check you're not using as much chlorine because uh, you're keeping that relationship true with a much uh, lesser amount of chlorine so um, it's, it's just very important to make sure you keep it in range. Now, what can you do if it's out of range? Well, if the stabilizer is too low, it's very simple. You just add it uh, to the pool. Now, you can do it a couple different ways. Some guys like to uh, just add it directly to the skimmer. I'm one of them. Or you can take a pantyhose and um, tie a, a, a pound or two of it into the uh, skimmer and just let it slowly dissipate itself. I found that it... Uh, it dissolves quicker 
um, if it's put into the skimmer because just from the, the pressure and the filter uh, it erodes away the, the cyanuric acid quicker so that's one way to add it if it's too low unfortunately there's not really a dependable chemical out there that lowers it um, the only way you can do is through dilution in other words a partial drain and refill um, that would be the surest way to um, lower that reading so let's see what else um, I mean that's basically it as far as stabilizer goes it's not really difficult to keep you know to manage but a lot of people just don't understand it so I mean if you are constantly have your pool on a diet of tablets you know you may want to stop that and, and you know get your uh, stabilizer reading checked and 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 all that stuff so hopefully that helps out and uh, if you have any questions let me know and I'll be I'll do my best to help explain it so have a good day everyone